Some more money for City Circle into 370. What a robust start to the day in terms of the market. The red lights are on. Set to go. Gates have sprung racing, missing the kick back and five. And the first to get going, pink and grey and excise free, Bedouin Bell Dia Calder. They settle in front of City Circle and pushing up the Witch Doctor, a further three lengths, Crystal Dane, and a similar margin back and five. A clear last, and they're running hard early. 700 left to go, excise free. Zip to the front now for Witten, drew a length and a half, pink and grey, Dia Calder posied up third. A length away on the outside is Bedouin Bell getting a great run here as they approach the home corner. Down on the inside is the Witch Doctor having to steady off heels from City Circle and then Crystal Dane and a long last is back and five into the straight. Excise free by the 300. Two clear from Dia Calder. Over on the outside, Pink and Grey. Further back behind them, Bedouin Bell. The Witch Doctor getting up near the rail. City Circle starting to run on. Excise free is the leader with 100 left to go. The danger, Dia Calder. Excise free, Dia Calder. City Circle coming late. Dia Calder reaches the lead though. Dia Calder scored from Excise free or City Circle. The Witch Doctor Bedouin and Bell were next home from Crystal Dane, Pink and Grey tiring, and a long last, the Ruffy back and five trails them home. Seven's the winner, Dia Calder. Ridden by Sean McGruddy, beating one excise free, Kate Witten, and uh, down the outside, City Circle, Chris Parnham. So Dia Calder, the sizzling filly, jumped quickly. She was able to nestle up there third behind Excise Free, who'd rolled to the top, the first to pick her off. And they came together. Dear Calder finishing a bit the better. City Circle back there in the field, conceding ground, but runs on very well in the late stages. And better when Bell was back there after having had a great run throughout, and she was really flat to the floorboards after they'd balanced up. Dear Calder will pay six even, 190. Excise Free, 130. City Circle, $1.60. And the winner, Dia Calder, 4 to $6. She got the wobbles in the market. Excise free was $2.50. $3.20 on the WAP at the finish. And uh, down the outside, City Circle was 4 80 into $3.70. 58 2 2 the time. They ran it at high speed. Three quarters of a length and a neck are the official margins there. Following race one, Dia Calder with the, the blinkers going on first up and now makes it two wins from three starts. Prepared by Simon Miller. Might be set for a pretty good day as well. Let's catch up with Brittany Taylor with winning jockey Sean McGruddy. Good afternoon, Britt. Good afternoon, Darren. And I am joined by Sean McGruddy, who is the winner of the first. Sean, first time you've been aboard this filly. Blinkers went on today. She looked like she was travelling strongly throughout. Yeah, they definitely did the job for her. Um, I haven't ridden it before, but watched the replays and um, the second start looked like she could really do with some headgear and only third start today. She did everything right and uh, won quite easily. It was probably a small question mark over the 1,000 metres, whether she would be better perhaps over more like a 1,200 trip. But Simon, with the blinkers going on, wanted to put her in this 1,000 today and it seemed to be really comfortable for her. Yeah, look, I think the blinkers did her job. I did their job, sorry, to make a race and do everything right. I think if they wanted to get her up over 14 in a mile, they might need to come off later. King's Authority in the next. What are your expectations? Uh, he's drawn a bit sticky, but um, it was a good run last start, so hopefully he can do something the same again today. All right, congratulations on this win and best of luck in the next. Thanks, Brittany. Dee Calder, Simon Miller joins us now. I think the concern before the race was 1,000 metres. She jumped, travelled and won like a, a horse going places today. Yeah, she did. I mean, the, um, the second horse is a bloody good horse, so to, to gun it down over 1,000 probably speaks volumes of our horse. And uh, she's going places. I think she'll get out to 1,400 or a mile in time. So it was a good win. The blinkers on? Yeah, I wouldn't see why not. I mean, we fired her up a bit today and she hadn't worn them before, so she was always going to be a bit fierce, which is why I threw in the 1,000 as opposed to a 1,200, just in case she did over-ace a bit. So she, she'll come on both um, physically and mentally from this run and, and we'll go again, but next time we'll hit a 1,200. She's been a lightly race, Philly. Has there been a reason behind that? Yeah. She uh, put a leg in a fence after not long after the yielding sales and... I laid down in the fetal position for about a month and come good and she damaged the suspensory uh, in doing that. So we just gave her 12 months off and started again. What's the best for the rest of the day? Uh, good question. We've got great chances all day. We'll be, we'll be knocking on the door and I suppose it's pleasing to hit the first one because generally how we start how we finish. And oh, oh, I'm pretty bullish. Um, I do like uh, Millie's on fire only because it's going to lob into the perfect spot. Good luck. 
Thanks, Gareth. There's Simon Miller there. Dear Calder wins. It could be a big day for the Miller and McGrady combination. Of course, McGrady rides Amelia's on fire, and he also rides Akinar Star. So it could be a big day for Simon Miller. Excise free was pretty good back in second. She is a pretty good filly. City Circle hitting the line strongly once again. And the Witch Doctor was fourth. 7-1, 6-9. After the first, 58-22 was the time.